You know, it's hard to believe I've been hunting since I was six years old, and I'm very blessed and, uh, and still enjoy hunting as we speak today. I really got the bug of the outdoors from my grandfather. From His name was Poppy, John Walraven, Rome, Georgia. And I would always go up there each year, and it was just one of those experiences that you have with somebody that you never forget. We used to go squirrel hunt, and to me, that was the most fun because you know, he had a little squirrel dog right there and we go in the woods and everything and he was showing me, you know, where to stand and I'm gonna go around the tree right here and I'm gonna see if I can get that squirrel to turn so you can get the shot and all that. And I had more fun doing that. Then I started hunting around here in Alabama with my friends and everybody and, uh, you know, I'll never forget this. And everybody always has asked me this question, what's your favorite deer hunt? And, you know, a lot of people wanna, you know, maybe it was that big deer that you shot in Alberta or Montana. No, it goes back to my friends, uh, Coit Jordan, Thomas Eunice, and Mike Jackson. We were on a, a deer drive in Myrtlewood, Alabama, okay? I had a shotgun with double alt buckshot, and I never forgot they were doing a little silent drive, and I, I look over on the ridge right there, and here comes this deer, and all of a sudden I see it's a six-inch spike, and he's coming to me, and I'm, I mean, I can't even hardly breathe. Heart's about pounding out of my chest and everything, and I put that little old bead on him as he came down the ridge, and I never forget I squeezed that shot and I think that uh, that big old shotgun about took my shoulder off. But I got my first buck and it's a six inch spike and that's one I'll never forget. It seems like yesterday and I bet you that's been 45, 50 years ago. So, but then, you know, we've been fortunate, uh, you know, over the last 33 years of doing the Buckmasters TV show and, you know, had a chance to hunt all over North America. But uh, there's two hunts that I'll never forget because they weren't whitetail hunts. They were big game hunts. And they were intense because the animals we were hunting could basically take my life. And that's a whole different ball game. And I remember we were in Idaho, and I was in pretty good shape back in those days. And we were mountain lion hunting. And I remember we had a Yamaha snowmobile that flipped over, and I had two or three broken ribs. And, you know, we finally got on this big old tomcat the last day, and uh, I had to make a shot. And, uh, and that was intense. Looking at that big old cat right there, it weighed 170, 180 pounds. This was a Boone and Crockett cat. And uh, to, fortunate to make a good shot on it, but that was an intense hunt. And then I got into the grizzly bear hunt. And that's the top of the food chain right there. And that's about as intense as it gets. And, you know, I've had a Savage 300, uh, and I've taken it on many trips and we've taken a lot of uh, good grizzlies up with my good friend, Vance Kraskowski at Norton Sound in, in Unalakleet, Alaska. But this one particular hunt we went on, you know, I said, look, I'm gonna take the Savage 300 and I'm also gonna take my bow. So Vance and I, we got on a, a, a walrus that had washed up there on the beach and we're sitting there and he said, well, we got about 10 minutes left or, and we gotta go. And I look up and here comes a grizzly bear around the corner coming right toward the walrus. So as I'm reaching down for my bow, I look up through the little brush top that we were sitting in. Here comes grizzly number two. This was intense. I mean, I couldn't even hardly breathe. I mean, it was just my, my heart was pounding and I just never been in a situation like this because here I am hunting the top of the food chain and I've got to make a perfect shot. So finally, I, I, I took a shot at the one on the left right there. And I never forgot, when, you know, when I hit the bear, the bear rolled over. Well, the other bear thought the other one was mad, so it jumped over trying to bite him, then ran out there. And this is something, never forget, the second grizzly stood up on his hind feet right there, and Vance started throwing rocks at him. Now, you're sitting there throwing rocks at a grizzly bear trying to get him mad to come get us. I, I was sitting, I'd never seen that before, but finally that grizzly said he'd had enough and took off. So... We finally got that grizzly and finally got him back to camp. But those are two I'll never forget. And these are just some of the things we've been doing over the years. But it's just getting out to the outdoors, enjoying what God gave us. Because if it wasn't for the hunting sportsmen, we wouldn't have the abundant wildlife we have. But it's been a heck of a ride. But I just have to go back and thank my grandfather, Poppy, for getting me involved. Because without him introducing me to the sport, it would have never happened.